All right, everybody. Call this Public Works Committee to order. Councilman Pridemore is here also. Uh, Councilman Elrod and O'Connell are on their way. So we will start with uh, Resolution 2018-1071, Virtue and Elrod, approves an application for a special litter grant from the Tennessee Department of Transportation to Metro Public Works to propose community-based litter education and neighborhood cleanups targeting all ages. Motion. Don't lose. Second. All right. Well, this is a uh, Virtue and Elrod. We have a letter. In Council A. Dow's district? Uh, Virtue. Okay. Right, well, no. Uh, good question. There were two litter this, related um, items. Oh, there, there were two separate litter grants applied for. Okay. Who is to heal? I guess we'll wait for. Yeah. Uh, okay. Moving on to uh, 1072, Hastings, Virtue, and Elrod approves an application for a flood mitigation assistance grant from the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency to Metro Water for flood mitigation. Um, here again, it's Hastings, Virtue, and Elrod. Are they anybody here? No? Who is to heal? Um, here we go. 2018-1073, O'Connell, Bedney, and Elrod authorizes Drury and Nashville LLC to construct and install an aerial encroachment at, so moved. at 300 Queen <laughs> Veterans Boulevard. Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? And we are for. Uh, thank you. 2018-1074, O'Connell, Bedney, and Elrod authorizes LRC Restaurant Nashville LLC to construct and install an aerial encroachment at 120 3rd Avenue South. Have a motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Very good. 2018-1075, Murphy, Benne, and Elrod authorizes Metro to abandon the existing sanitary sewer main and easements for property located at 4101 Ridgefield Drive. I have a motion. I have a motion. Mm -hmm. Do you want to add? Okay. Oh, Councilor, so yesterday in planning, I made a mistake. Um, I got this this address confused with a uh, with a different address, and so I actually moved to defer this in planning. And if the chair of planning is willing to overrule that or override it, I can either defer this, or if we're willing to override the recommendation of planning yesterday, um, we can move it through. Well, this is all we need is one committee, right? Whatever is easiest. You only need one committee's approval, and she can move to suspend the rules with respect to the other committee's deferral. And I'd rather not suspend the rules, so I can just do it next time. Let's just defer it, defer and, it? and I'll make sure you all have a letter next time and just run it all through. All right, motion is to defer. Any Thanks, other discussion? Hey, all, do in anything. all in favor? Aye. 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 It's deferred. 2018-1103, O'Connell, Bedney, and Elrod accepts new combination sewer mains, combination sewer manholes, and fire hydrants for property located at 601 Commerce Street. Uh, I to go. Second. So, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? So moved. 2018-1104, O'Connell, Bedney, and Elrod accepts new water mains, sewer mains, sewer manholes, fire hydrants, and any associated easements from the properties located along Commerce Street, Broadway, and Church Street. I have a motion. I'm okay. Okay. Pro it's Quick it's question five. for Public Works. For the, uh, who is paying for the new okay. fire hydrants? We're abandoning some and building some. Is that the property owner? It will be Metro Water. I, I do not know who's paying for those fire hydrants. Like, we can find out. <laughs> Okay. Well, they sound worthy, but it's interesting to know whether that ends up being water or property owner, because we seem to have had some old ones. And so are we paying for an, up, an upgrade or not? Just this question. Thank you. If you didn't mind finding that out for me. Thank you. I move to approve. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? So moved. Here we go. Uh, we just did that one. Right. Keep going. I headed to a, the real chair. All right. <laughs> um, sorry, everybody. I was caught at work. Um, so it is 11.05. Um, except a new water line and a fire hydrant for properties located at 161 and 165 Rains Avenue. So moved. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We recommend approval. Ordinance 1106, Council Lady Allen and others, Madden's existing water main and easements for property located at 2014 Bernard Circle. Uh, move approval. Any discussion? 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We recommend approval. Ordinance 1107 by Councilman, uh, or excuse me, Councilwoman, Speaker Pro Tem, Vice Mayor Wiener, <laughs> abandons a portion of Rodney Drive right away. We have a letter asking for approval. Uh, so move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. We recommend approval. Uh, Ordinance 1108 by Council Lady Murphy and others abandons a portion of Lennox Avenue right of way. And I would move approval. Second. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we recommend approval. Ordinance 1064 by Councilman O'Connell. This is on third reading. Authorizes the acquisition of an interest in a parcel of real property and the granting of an easement in the same parcel in connection with the development of the National Yards Project in downtown Nashville. So You are on it. Yes. Make a motion and discussion. Move. I would, I would move approval and a second. Second. So okay. uh, discussion. So everyone on the committee should have gotten um, information from Charles Robert on uh, the development and where the easement's located, or excuse me, where the uh, the parcel's located that's in question and what it's for. Does anybody have any questions on that, Councilman Cooper, Council, Councilwoman Henderson? Um, well, uh, just to start off, first, I am very grateful, and I know Mark Sturdivant is not here, but to Public Works and everybody and to Tom who've worked on this material, because I think when you look at National Yards, you see it's clearly a project worth this level of attention, and it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. I did have a couple of follow-up questions, however, for Public Works. I noticed that in the traffic study, we go from very low levels in 2016 to ease, beyond F, right, is E, for all of our service levels. Is this, um, how does this compare to our other service levels for our streets coming to downtown Nashville? Well, they studied 17 intersections, that's in the study area, seven of those at some point in the, in the, in the analysis period, whether it's existing, background, or future, rose to a level that, that we would typically look at and say, you know, are there improvements that could mitigate some of that? Um, and, and so of those seven, um, I think four of them already rose to that level under background conditions, meaning even before this development was built, the amount of development that we know is coming already on the books had, had warranted uh, some, of those develop, some of those improvements. So, as they compare to other intersections downtown, I don't have a, a knowledge of every intersection downtown. Certainly there are Fs all over downtown during during peak period, so it is not, it, it, nothing here catches us uh, as, as, as meaning it's... So it's, the it's move from D and F to E is not necessarily from this project? Not it's necessarily. Not necessarily from this project. And secondly, I know there's a, another meeting going on in the other room that we all want to be part of. Um, the five million dollars, which I'm very, it's great to identify five million dollars worth of improvements being paid for by the developer. I don't think that we can say that too much, but um, there's no um, that's that's five million out of all all the improvements affecting how many streets. My I mean, there's no breakout of the five million. Correct. You, my, my understanding that that five million was was generally uh, estimated for the the upper. Um, 10th Avenue project. So many access to that development. That does not include the value of intersection improvements, uh, roadway reconstruction, and all of those types of things. So literally $5 million worth of improvements so that the deed can be conveyed to the enter entertainment group. That that would be right. So $5 million for this phase. That's $5 million just related to the Upper 10th Plaza. For just the Upper 10th? And that's the, the $5 million is in... Yeah. Um, Public Nashville right of way improvements, or is that on site improvements? It is for specifically for the upper 10th. Just oh, for the upper 10th. Uh, I'm going to uh, cut this off and um, do I have a motion to recess until 5 15? Second. All those in favor? Aye. We're going to recess until 5 15. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> I don't want to call this Public Works Committee meeting back to order. Um, I, do you have a quorum? Can I still yeah. do that?
We do not. Can't, let me pass two resolutions real quick. A resolution 1071 by Councilwoman uh, Virtue and myself approves the application for a special letter grant from the TDOT to Metro Public Works to propose community based letter education and neighborhood cleanup targeting all ages. And I'm on the resolution, so I would move approval. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We recommend approval. Resolution 1072 approves an application, excuse me, by uh, Councilman Hastings, uh, approves an application for a flood mitigation assistance grant from TEMA to Metro Water for flood mitigation. And I would move approval. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. We recommend approval. And now we are on back on. Thank y'all for that. Just in case. There was one. We that was, uh, two. Those are the two. Those are the two. Yes. All right. So we are now back on ordinance 1064 by Councilman O'Connell. It's on the National Yards Project. Let me read the caption um, just to make sure that we're. Um, in the proper order. Authorize the acquisition of entrance in a parcel of real property and the granting of an easement in the same parcel in connection with the development of the National Yards project in downtown Nashville. Um, Councilman Cooper, I'm going to go back to you. You had well, we were in the middle of thanking everybody for collecting these materials on this huge and important project. Um, and uh, you weren't here, Mark, but I was thanking you for this memo because I think it's really appropriate and great to share this information. And we were talking about the traffic study showing a declining um, service level in the future and that there are a variety of improvements. And I think where we last were, there was the $5 million worth of improvements, whether they were going to metro right-of-way improvements or were they going as private developer improvements, just to establish for the record. And I think that was the question where we left it last. And they are for Upper Town. I mean, that, that is the... So, but all these improvements are in effect on the deeded property owned by the developer, or are any of them on Metro right of way to improve traffic? Um, how, how it's deeded and all, I don't know. Okay. It, it's the upper tent access to the development. It intersects with Church Street, the, the overpass there, so that would be a public intersection um, beyond that. Commerce. The uh, it goes, no, it's, it's a club, it intersects with Road Church Street on a second level. Of, uh, okay. But it's Metro right, right away that's being, will be managed by Metro, right, correct? Is that right? Well, yep. the, no, up, up, the upper uh, tenth, um, I, I would think, would be maintained by the developer. Okay. 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 And I'm, well, and it's not really Metro right away. Um, I'm glad you're here. It's it's this gray it's area. It's right away. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. It's all right away, but usually right away means easement. Okay. In this case, we're acquiring fee interest and we're giving them back an easement. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Well, I mean, it's a it's a fabulous project. I'm grateful to the committee to get an appropriate level of information and just but to ask Public Works a, a general question since um, there's your when you have declining service levels identified from a traffic study, um, what is Public Works' policy response to that? I don't know that there's a one-size-fits-all answer to that, particularly in the downtown. Um, so, I mean, we're going to take a project and project. And understand this, to Jeff's really the expert on traffic, but the, uh, the traffic problems and the traffic solutions when you get downtown usually stretch to the inner loop. And so even if we were looking at one project, the, the impacts and the corrections usually take place blocks out. So I, and you can comment more, Jeff, but we we don't, uh, we expect to have congestion in the downtown, particularly during rush hour. We don't expect these, during rush hour, we expect the intersections to be at, at, at very low levels. Of, uh, I don't know if I'm answering your question or not. Well, no, it's just I'm, I'm tr hoping to hear how we stretch your limited budget by incorporating really great developer partners for Nashville into improving service levels and how yeah. and how we would do that and how we do that going forward. Um, We're also you know, looking at a, pro a program of uh, management in the downtown where we work with property owners and try to have sta staggered work times. Uh, 
uh, the transit passes and all those things uh, that you can do uh, to try to alleviate congestion all at once. That's a program we have been working on over the next couple of years. That's for all of downtown. Okay. And one, one final question. From this project, is there a public works expenditure that's anticipated by public works to service this project? We're still working on that. We're, we're you know, the budget's coming up. We're going to put some things in the budget. We haven't finalized that yet. And there will be a participation agreement for this project in the future, but we don't have the, the details of that yet. And we stated over and over this one item's out of order, right? but there was a necessity to bring it at this time. Okay. Well, and I appreciate that, and I'm grateful to everybody that's answered the questions. I understand the property owner wants to transfer a sub parcel in a deal that needs to close, and there's a lot of ambiguity about whether Metro even owns the, the right of way here. So, with that, my questions are. Um, addressed, and I'm grateful for that, but I do think anything of this magnitude that could have this level of impact on your budget, that, that having this, these materials in this discussion is, is super appropriate, and I'm grateful to everybody being part of that. Chair, I have a few questions. I also um, concur. Thank you for uh, the site plans, the visuals. I mean, I think that really is necessary to understand the project to make the decision that we were making as a committee last time, and that's why we asked it to be re-referred um, because just, you know, the caption as stated, you know, it's hard to visualize what's happening here. Um, my concerns are less around level of service for automobiles, but um, because you are bridging 10th Avenue, um, and, you know, we have seen in other cities where you uh, kind of make a street, um, uh, you know, go under something, um, that there is somewhat of a diminishment of the streetscape um, and what that public space is like. Um, so I would like to understand in bridging it, um, if I am a pedestrian or on bike in Nashville and I am going under the 10th Avenue uh, bridging, what will I see there? Am I seeing murals? Am I seeing landscaping? Are there bike lanes? Um, you know, that's not uh, among all the wonderful renderings, I don't have sort of the experiential what that space is going to be like, and I understand that may be in development, but because that is Metro right-of-way, it is still 10th Avenue, um, I want to understand to what standard are we holding these developers for that space. Sure. Well, could I ask Joe, Luther, or Brett Slayton? Sure. I, I, um, we are still uh, MCSP compliant down there with the, the four-foot uh, pedestrian zone, 10-foot sidewalks. Um, what about bike lanes? The bike lanes are, uh, the, the bike routes, uh, working with Nashville Bike, is kind of um, actually don't go down 10th Avenue, so there's not a designated bike lane 10th. It's going to be on Commerce 9th and Church Street. And Upper 10th. And, and then Upper 10th will certainly have some of that. So uh, that space down there is still going to be pedestrian friendly, still have wide sidewalks and all that stuff like everywhere else would be. We'll, we'll do our best to grow a tree under, underneath a bridge, well, maybe yeah, light wells and things that. like that, but cer certainly don't know how that's going to kind of um, work out. Details to, to follow. And, and, and it's, it's important to note, too, everyone will have another chance to review this, right? Um, the Downtown Design Review Committee will, will review this be back before Public Works to review it and improve it. So this isn't kind of the last thing. So everybody's going to have to look at the final design and the experience of underneath the tent. And we agree that it is also important because we want it to be our drop-off point. Okay. So um, from, I guess it'll be built to major and collector street plan standards. <laughs> A complete street, excepting though that the bike. I mean, is that your understanding, Councilman O'Connell, from a, a well? Bike I mean, lane to that point, right? I think they've identified places around the development, including Ninth and Church, where there will be actual bike lanes with a bike route on that stretch of Tenth, um, which I think is relatively consistent with uh, National Walk and Bike. You know, I think to Council Lady Henderson's point, though. And one of the reasons that this is important, probably not just to this committee, but to um, the city as a whole, is, for instance, we had this whole celebration of um, the introduction of 11th uh, through the Gulch as a complete street, which then hit Charlotte and died at Capitol View. And so there's kind of this expectation of, are we making sure, and to Councilman Cooper's point as well, that we're going beyond just a project-by-project -project basis in that sense of how these things uh, Interlock, but I think 
overall, from what I've seen with this project, it's I think the overall bike pet infrastructure is, is going to support good mobility in, in that portion of downtown. If I may, uh, I have opportunity to see the you know presentation at the office. Uh, the way I see it is uh, like uh, Music City Center, 6th Avenue. Uh, the, they do have a connector on the second right. you know, street, and the below they do have a uh, street uh, go under, and it has walkway, and it has, you know, uh, a right of way and so forth. I'm imagining 10th will be longer version of that, it's a lower 10th, like automobile version. And then upper 10th will be more pedestrian friendly, uh, like a promenade type of uh, uh, development. That's the, uh, you know, vision I was... Shared. But understanding that the plaza, obviously pedestrian friendly, but you have to be internal to that development. So if you are on the sidewalk, though, on the street, do you have, and I understand design is still in development, but do you have windows there? Are we talking walls down below? I just, I, I want to kind of understand um, what happens okay. under there. So in, in working with uh, a planning, the idea was that we were going to compromise by making Upper 10th and church and everything, 100% you know, visible, um, open open floor plan, completely connected to the streets. Mm -hmm. and, and by doing that, we're going to take uh, some of the things that typically end up on the sidewalks, four-sided buildings in an urban environment, and take them and put them on lower 10th, right? So that we could kind of split the, you know, rather than splitting it all over the project, kind of localize it together to kind of collect vehicles in one place and then allow Upper 10th and Church Street to really function as a pedestrian, purely pedestrian zone. We're trying to, uh, we will try to address it, it the best that we can to make it as friendly as we can. But, you know, understanding that we have to put the stuff of the project somewhere. And that seemed like the most logical place, honestly. Right. To but if I'm coming down Commerce as a pedestrian and I'm not engaging your development at all, and then I want to turn on 10th and go connect somewhere, I'm going to have to walk through what is effectively a tunnel. And I think we have seen historic, I mean, it may be a really nice tunnel, and it needs to be a really nice tunnel, right? But, um, you know, those spaces kind of become these kind of ambiguous, and, you know, you don't want them to be a place where people don't want to walk, right? Sure. Um, so I just, uh, I, I would say on behalf of the committee, I feel that that area especially needs some very, you know, good design detail, and I'm hoping that Public Works will be holding you all accountable, because I know you'll do a wonderful job on your plaza as part of your development, but I, I just ask in the, in the public street that goes beneath there that we are very mindful of that as a, a public space. With that, that's my question. Anybody else? On behalf of the community, again, thank you all for sharing the information. Um, very detailed. More, I'm, I mean, I got more excited about it, so I'm looking forward to it, so I appreciate it. Uh, any further dis without any further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? And we recommend approval. And with that, um, well, let me uh, state one other thing. There was, um, and there was a media story last week about Benny Word, who I think we're all familiar with with our work um, with Public Works and traffic, neighborhood traffic calming, about a sexual harassment incident. Um, it's, I've, got, I've read the report and welcome to share that with anybody. I mean, it's public record, of course. Talked with a couple of the council members about um, you know how to interact with uh, contractors and try to hold them as far as you know some of the same standards as Metro employees, but there's other legal or higher standards. Yeah, or higher standards, yes. Um, but there's some legal things we've got to work through. But I want to let the committee know I'm looking at that, but I'm welcome to hear input from anybody else. Not necessarily want to talk about it in the committee necessarily yet, but I want to let y'all know. You know, welcome to your feedback or any ideas that y'all have. So. And um, Chair, as well, uh, Director Sturdivant, we had asked uh, last time in advance of the budget season um, that this uh, committee engage in a, a special meeting as it relates to implementation of the walk and bike strategic plan related to sidewalks, bikeways, and the cost therein um, of those uh, facilities. And really, um, we have numerous constituents that have asked us to kind of drill down on those particular costs. Um, as, as we plan for the next year. And so, uh, Chair Elrod, I don't know if we can make sure to get that meeting set. Yes, on and the I, thought, I thought it did. So I, w I was expecting you to set that meeting. I was about to say, I'm, that was me that fell on so that's me. I'll take, I'll take responsibility for that. So um, will you get with me after this, after today? Today's a little crazy. I'll send you um, an email. We've already you. started. 
we're preparing for yeah. it. I appreciate that. So if you holler at me tomorrow or Thursday. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you, Courtney. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. Sure. Excuse me. Thank Sorry. You. No, regarding your question about um, contract employees, I mean, Benny's been a contract employee for over five years, right? He works for a contractor. Yeah, so I think we should really try to stay away from having contractors and just work with uh, uh, Metro employees as much as possible. Okay. So that would be my recommendation that we try to, um, because that's a long-term employment. Uh, it's We, we want to make sure our employees are... Uh, able to predict and have a continuous and, and plan with it, so that would be my recommendation. Name it, anything else? And we'll stand adjourned. Thank you.